Hello and welcome to the Martin Rea Manufacturing Systems video series. The objective of this video is to demonstrate the benefits of Phase 3 production reporting and show how it can be implemented at the division level. While many divisions are able to keep accurate reporting records using Phase 1 and Phase 2 reporting methods, Phase 3 achieves this more reliably and accurately with minimal user intervention. Phase 3 production reporting can be designed to take advantage of existing infrastructure and streamline only the data needed for real-time production reporting. Phase 3 production reporting requires three major components in order to function properly. A PLC capable of functioning as a counter and communication device, a touchscreen interface for operator input, and a data transfer utility or DTU a server which compiles the data received from the PLCs and touchscreens and sends it to CMS to be validated and entered into the system. Label printers are also required at each work cell since production labels will be automatically generated and validated by the system. All existing PLCs can be incorporated into the system. The only requirement of the PLC for Phase 3 reporting is the ability to communicate production counts to the DTU. The DTU pages both the PLC and the touchscreen for new information every second and displays the information on the touchscreen. When the PLC reports each newly manufactured part, the DTU lists it as an unreported quantity. When this quantity reaches the standard pack size, the quantity moves into the overall production totals. The DTU reports the production of the standard pack to CMS and a validated internal production label prints automatically. Before the standard pack quantity is reached, authorized users can use the touchscreen to divert unreported quantities to partial bins, inspection parts, and scrap counts. These quantities are immediately reported as such to CMS. Values larger than the unreported quantity will not be accepted by the system. The touchscreens can be configured to show production totals for more than one part meaning resources which produce multiple parts simultaneously can be represented on a single interface. They can also be configured to show multiple work cells or even entire departments. Practically any configuration is possible depending on the specific needs of the division. It is important to note that the type of operation being performed at the resource does not have a great effect on how Phase 3 operating procedure functions. Whether it's a press operation, a welding assembly, fluid system, or some smaller operation, the only requirement is that there be room for a touchscreen, a label printer, and a small PLC at the resource. While the benefits of accurate real-time reporting are considerable, this system provides some further advantages. User training is minimized as the touchscreen interface is intuitive and user-friendly. Phase 3 also eliminates operator errors since all the information comes directly from the PLC. Additionally, sign-in procedure allows resource operation to be restricted to authorized users. Downtime, idle time, and other operational metrics can also be tracked. The touchscreens can be used as highly focused communication devices, informing operators of part-specific work instructions and quality concerns, instead of delivering the message verbally or amid the clutter of various quality alerts for many different parts. It can also become the source point for communicating shop floor issues immediately, bringing automation to current MPCP procedure. This ability to communicate directly to specific operators with immediate concerns in real time may indeed open up the door to new developments and efficiencies that have yet to be considered. By implementing Phase 3 production reporting, facilities will not only achieve real-time production reporting, thereby procuring the obvious advantages in MRP-related departments. GMs will also be setting up an excellent communication system that relays important information when it is needed most.